living that good life. We're living, 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 living with Jimmy B. We're living it up, up, up. We're living that good life. We're living, living, living. Welcome to this episode of Living with Jimmy. I am Jimmy B, and if this is your first time joining us, welcome. I am glad to be back. It's been a couple of weeks, and I have southern fried chicken. I have a whole bird here, and it was exciting to make. Um, so I have uh, a full bird, and I'm probably not going to be able to eat all of this. So I'm gonna start with a chicken breast because you know how chicken breasts are. They, let's do a thumbnail. They have a tendency to, look at that. Is that good looking chicken or not? And look at how crispy it is. It's just crispy and, ooh, and it's still hot. Ah, I'm just gonna have to make it do what it do. But anyway, let's say grace. Dear Lord, we thank you for food in a world where people hunger. We thank you for friends in a world where people walk alone. We thank you for your grace and mercy in the name of Jesus, amen. And so I made this honey butter sriracha sauce and um, I'm excited to use that as a dipping sauce. So let me get comfortable. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Oh. This is delicious. If I do say so myself. Mm. Mm. I also have some Louisiana hot sauce. Mm. Oh my goodness. And I ran out of Frank's Red Hot. That's my favorite. It's juicy too. I'm going for the for the uh, breast first because breasts are really lean and they tend to not re reheat well because they're so lean. So they have a tendency, if you try to reheat them, to dry out, so. Oh, this is good, good, good eating. Mm. 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 So anyway, folks, I'm gonna do a story time. <laughs> That's how I spent my weekend. Clearing out my basement. Not of my things, but of the former upstairs neighbor I have. I live in a duplex and my upstairs neighbor moved and she left a bunch of her stuff. And I had to move it out. <clears throat> it took up my whole weekend. Mm. And you may ask, why did you have to move it out, Jimmy B? 
Well, because it was amongst my stuff. <clears throat> I'm drinking ginger ale. It was amongst my stuff. So the landlord basically said, I'm just going to throw whatever I see out. I'm like, huh. And had the audacity to text me that. Like, you are really stupid to text me that. His son anyway did. Why would you text somebody something like that? You just lie about yourself. But if you're that stupid, fine with me. Mm. So I knew he couldn't tell between my stuff and hers. So I had to throw her stuff out. It was junk. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm talking about old TVs. run over shoes that she didn't wear no more. I mean, and I was supposed to be studying this weekend, you guys. I was livid. I was literally up until three in the morning Sunday night, going into Monday morning, throwing her stuff out. And I had to get up in the morning to go to work. I took pictures of how much stuff I threw out. Unbelievable. So that's how I spent my weekend. And <clears throat> this is really good. You you have to try this recipe. I'm gonna place a link uh, in the description box. Mm. This is so good. Mm. Tender. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, yeah, so that's how I spent my weekend. And I was very upset with the landlord's son and how he talked to me. He didn't seem to appreciate the fact that I cleared the stuff out. Um, he was more upset about the fact that an inspector told him he had to replace the furnace. And I understand that he was upset, but um, I don't believe in taking out my frustrations on other people. I mean, he said that <clears throat> I shouldn't have had boxes near the furnace. His, his, his specific words were, you know better than that. So I guess he's blaming me because he had to place the, replace the hot water heater.
but you're not gonna have to replace a hot water heater because boxes are near it. The inspector said, told me that it was probably from the 1940s. He said, it's older than anything I've ever seen. It's older than me and you. But when you're trying to take out your frustrations on other people, it don't make sense, which is the case. What does my having boxes near the furnace have to do with you replacing an 80 year old hot water heater, hot water tank? I guess his logic is, oh, he said it was a fire hazard. Yeah, it is a fire hazard. The guy told me, the inspector said that it didn't have one of those contraptions on it uh, that auto shuts off when it's not lit. He says, so it will continue blowing out gas even if it's not lit, which is a fire hazard. So he said some really disrespectful things. Oh, excuse me. Um, I think it was about 9.20 at night when I texted him to let him know that the stuff was outside on the side of the house. And he said, don't text me this late at night ever again. It was like literally a quarter after nine. You should have known better than to put those boxes near the furnace. Mind you, I was up for a good another five hours putting those boxes on the side of the house. And he's mad because I text him at 9.20 and I was up till three in the morning. I'm telling you, the nerve of folks. But I've been dealing with that a lot lately. People taking out <clears throat> their frustrations on other people. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I mean, with COVID and everything, you're seeing a lot of that. And I just don't get it. I've been dealing with it a lot, trying to deal with it, uh, you know, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a happy person. And things happen to the best of us. But when I'm not happy, I don't take it out on other people. I can tell this is going to be my last piece. Mm. But this is so good. I'm full. The rest is leftovers. With that being said, please like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post one of these fabulous videos. Peace and God bless.